the U.S. election. Right now, America is struggling, trying to decide between who will be its next president, uh, Madam Secretary of Secret Servers or uh, a used diaphragm from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> and, and it's a big decision. So, of course, all the news media in America is focused on these two candidates, and that creates a problem for the candidates because they can't be everywhere at once. They're not Kevin Hart. So instead, <laughs> instead, Trump and Clinton have campaign surrogates, but Donald Trump's surrogates are special because Donald Trump is special. <laughs> And he always makes interesting choices. Uh, you know, like cleaning the fur out of a golden retriever's dog brush and using it as a wig. He thinks <laughs> out of the box. And, and his pick of surrogates is no different. And these are all true. These are real people. His social media director is his former golf caddy, right? <laughs> his campaign manager was a lobbyist for infamous dictators. And his current spokesperson, Katrina Pearson, is a failed Tea Party candidate for Congress who this past week shot to notoriety for saying this. Entering Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Remember, we weren't even in Afghanistan by this time. Barack Obama went into Afghanistan, creating another problem. It was Hillary Clinton and her incidents in Libya, which was also a reckless decision to create that vacuum. They armed the rebels, and, and they're even funding them now. Okay, so, so you're saying Barack Obama took, took the country into Afghanistan post-2009. Is that, that what you're saying? What I'm saying is... The because policies you just said that we weren't Barack in Obama Afghanistan. Obama and Hillary Clinton. That was Obama's war, yes. <laughs> the composure on that news anchor's face. You can see he's like, what, you so <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying, wow. She was also once arrested for shoplifting and then got in a fight about it on a reality TV show. You're such a liar and a hypocrite. You talked about black people being criminals, and now you're changing it because we all know you're a criminal, too. No, I'm not. Were you convicted of a crime? No, I wasn't. Did you shoplift? Yes, I did. So you stole things? I stole clothes to get a job, yes. You're nothing but a thief, a shoplifter, a liar, a hypocrite, and a fake. God damn! <laughs> God damn! They fact-checked her harder than on CNN! <laughs> she was like, you not, you lie, you thief, you shoplifting, you can... CNN should hire her. That's what they should do. Wow. Now, after making those statements on the news, Katrina Pearson, she took a lot of flack, and rightfully so. But at the same time, people, I really feel so bad for her and all of Donald Trump's surrogates, because that has to be the hardest job in the world, even harder than being, like, a DJ at a bar mitzvah. That must be <laughs> the hardest... No, I mean, think about it. You're playing sexy music for a group of children who are grinding, and you're trying to act like you're not a creep. You're just gonna be like, yeah, this is, this is healthy. This is healthy. <laughs> This is healthy. It's a tough job. Because as a surrogate, whatever a candidate says, the surrogate has to defend it, even if their candidate says something like this. ISIS is honoring President Obama. He is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS, okay? He's the founder. Now, you see that clip? We get to watch it, and we get to be shocked, then we get to laugh, and then we get to weep for America's future. <laughs> but, but a surrogate, a surrogate has to watch that and then go, yes, Obama is the founder of ISIS. <laughs> Obama is the founder of ISIS. Well, how did he find... He's the founder because when he searched for them, he found... The... No, that's not... No, that's... <laughs> this is the hardest job in the world. <laughs> but you have to admit, Trump's surrogates, uh, they, they work hard for their money. So Trump said Obama founded ISIS, uh, or as they say in, uh, in other words. You know, he's not a professional politician who's been at this for 30 years with all the polished language, all the handlers Hillary has. When we're in rallies, you know, things get a little uh, animated. I think what he's saying there is legitimate political commentary. In a way, it had a fundamental truth to it. They did found ISIS. They did establish it. Their names might not be on the founding documents, but they laid the groundwork. Saying the founders was clearly an exaggeration uh, and I think also meant to entertain. Well, Donald Trump obviously wasn't talking about Barack Obama being the one that formed their business entity paperwork. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't think anyone in ISIS had to file business entity paperwork. <laughs> Oh, and, and by the way, uh, Obama was not the founder of ISIS. I, it's crazy that you have to say this, but uh, let's get that straight, all right? George Bush was the founder. <laughs> George Bush... And no, 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 look, really. Bush wasn't the founder either. But if any president helped create it, he did the most. You can say Obama left Iraq too early, sure. 
but you can't leave a place that you're not already in. That's something you cannot escape, all right? You can't escape that. So, so Trump goes on and says, Obama is ISIS's baby daddy. And now his surrogates, <laughs> they spend day and night defending that statement. Every single day, they defend it. And then a day later, Trump turns around and royally <laughs> them. Donald Trump is now apparently walking back his claim that President Obama and Hillary Clinton are the founders of ISIS. Trump tweeting out this morning, quote, ratings challenge CNN reports so seriously that I call President Obama and Clinton the founder of ISIS and most valuable player. They don't get sarcasm. Yeah, you know why they report it seriously? Because you're a presidential candidate. <laughs> That's, oh, why are you guys taking me so seriously? Oh. I'm not sure that Donald Trump knows what sarcasm means. I feel like he needed to get out of a jam and then he heard the word. Someone was like, were you being sarcastic? And he was like, that one, that's the one, <laughs> that's the one. And so once again, the poor surrogates who had no idea about this, they then had to turn around and now defend the opposites of what they were just defending. Well, I think two things are going on. He was being both serious and sarcastic. Which is it? Was he being sarcastic or was he not being sarcastic? Well, I guess it depends on the interpreter. Was he the actual founder of ISIS with his name on the document? No. If you take it that way, that is sarcasm. If you take it as him being the unintentional founder of ISIS, that is, in fact, serious. Was he being sarcastic? Well, the answer is yes and no. The answer is yes and no? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what America needs in a president. A man who's so all over the place that even the people who are hired as communications specialists are now basically the shrugging emoji. <laughs> hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. It's sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.